This series of videos demonstrates the step-by-step -step exercises which are included in each Parabuild installation, including the free trial version. This exercise will provide an introduction into drawing connections and macros. We'll begin by adding base plates to the columns. Select base plates end plates from the connection options and then select one of the inner columns by placing the cursor close to the bottom of the column. This will automatically open the base plate options dialog. Select the eye base plate option by double clicking the icon. Then select a second column, this time on the perimeter and press enter or right click the mouse button to confirm. This will open the edit dialog allowing us to change the base plate parameters. Notice that some of the dimension edit boxes are accompanied by a switch. By clicking the switch, the edit box will change from being active to responsive. An active box allows us to edit the value, while a responsive box will automatically update in response to the edited value. This will become clearer as we progress through the exercise. Change the base plate thickness to 15 and press enter and you'll see the base plates will immediately be updated. Next we'll change the width of the plate. Switch the dimension from responsive to active and note that the other values that will be affected by the edit have automatically become responsive. Modify the width of the plate and notice that the responsive dimensions have automatically updated. Then do the same for the length of the plate. Activate the bolts tab. Modify all four active edge distances and notice that the dimensions between the anchor bolts being responsive automatically update. The sum of the dimensions are constrained by the previously set plate width and length. Then modify the diameter of the bolt to 20. Note that both of the selected base plates were modified simultaneously. You can see how many macros you're adjusting in the title bar or under the groups in the dialog. When you're satisfied with the edit, click on close. Now we'll look at copying the base plate using the Smart Copy tool. Click on the Smart Copy icon and zoom in to select the macro sphere of the base plate you wish to copy. Alternatively, you can make a frame around the base plate to capture the sphere, but be careful here to ensure that multiple macros are not captured. Press Enter to confirm the selection. Then select a column to which the base plate is to be copied, and a new macro will immediately be placed. This command remains active, so you can select as many columns as you wish, but when you're done, Press Enter to close the command. On a crowded drawing, it can become difficult to accurately place additional base plates, so we'll make this easier by activating the View Manager and clicking on the lamp identifying the grid line you wish to isolate. Afterwards, you can restore the model to full visibility by activating the Restore Visibility lamp. At any time, the base plates can be modified after they're drawn by either double clicking on the base plate or activating the Review Macro command and selecting the macro sphere you wish to edit. Either option will open the Edit dialog. Applying the same principles as before, click the button next to the plate width, making it responsive, and edit the top left edge distance and press Enter. The plate width will automatically update. Note that if you consistently select the inside faces of the columns during creation or selection, then all base plates will be orientated to that face. We'll now copy the new base plate. This time we'll access the Smart Copy command from the drop down arrow next to the Propagate button. Again, select the columns you wish to copy the base plate to and press enter or right click the mouse button when done. We'll now do multiple copies of the base plate by using the propagate command. First, activate the view manager 
and click on the restore visibility lamp to restore the drawing. Double click the base plate you wish to propagate, opening the edit dialog. From the drop down options, select propagate and this will copy the base plate to all other columns, maintaining a consistent orientation of the base plate. This action will not draw a base plate where one already exists. There are other exercises with step-by-step -step instruction with each Parabuild installation. And if you'd like to try these yourself, there's a free Parabuild trial available on our website.